The Prophet said that Dajjal will not enter Makkah and Medina. Dajjal will not enter Makkah and Medina. The angels will prevent him from entering. And I say that Dajjal is already in Makkah and Medina. If you go to perform Umrah, you see Dajjal everywhere you turn. <laughs> Meaning, you see the footprints of Dajjal, you see the evidence of Dajjal everywhere you turn. Go to Makkah and Medina today. What the hadith is saying is that at that time, when Dajjal will appear as a human being, at that time when he had attacks Makkah and Medina, he will be attacking while riding on a donkey. Eh? You know about the donkey. And the donkey will fly, it has wings, eh? and fly faster than the clouds. And the donkey will have his ears stretched out wide. Dajjal will be riding on that donkey. We have interpreted it to be fighter aircraft. But you don't have to accept our opinion. No. You can, if you wish, choose to wait for the flying donkey. But we have interpreted it as the fighter aircraft. The Dajjal controls the skies. If you ask the Libyan leader, he will tell you Dajjal controls the skies. So at that time when Israel attacks, Makkah and Medina will be barred from them. They will not be able to attack Makkah and Medina because the angels will prevent them. prophet warned his people about the Antichrist, about Dajjal, the false messiah. And the prophet Noah warned his people. But I, I say to you something that none have a said before me. The Antichrist sees with one eye, his left eye. He's blind in the right eye. It looks like a bulging grip. But your Lord is not one eye. <clears throat> Between his eyes, on his forehead, is written the word kafir, disbeliever. And every mu'min will be able to read it. A mu'min is the one who has accepted the religion, the true religion but has not only accepted it with the lips, but the truth has entered 
into the heart. The one who has faith is a mu'min. And so every mu'min will be able to read and recognize disbeliever. Whether that mu'min is literate or illiterate. But well, then why is it that the one who is a disbeliever cannot read? How come? The one who has faith can read. The one who has no faith cannot read. So maybe we should send him to the eye specialist to have his eyes examined. So why can't you read? But the report comes back from the eye specialist. Perfect vision. No glaucoma. No cataract. His eyes are perfect. Well then why can't he read? Even though his eyes are perfect. And why is it that the one who has faith can read and recognize Kafir disbeliever? Maybe that the one who has faith is not reading with these eyes. Do we have any other eyes beside these eyes? Do we have any other ears beside these ears? Do we have any other means of acquiring knowledge other than through sense perception and rationality, through observation. The modern godless world says no. The Quran says yes. The Quran says that the heart can see. The Quran says that the heart can hear. When faith enters into the heart, then Allah puts noor in the heart, light. And with that light, the heart can see what these eyes cannot see. And so now it is plain and clear that when the one who has faith is seeing, He's seeing with more than these eyes. He's seeing with the heart. And so now it is also plain and clear that when the Dajjal sees with the left eye, it symbolizes external vision. When the Dajjal is blind in the right eye, it symbolizes internal blind. With this introduction, we understand now that when we're dealing with the subject of the Antichrist, there is a lot of symbolism involved in it. Religious symbolism, which needs to be interpreted. Dajjal means one who deceives. And so the Antichrist has a PhD in deception. In everything connected with the Antichrist, appearance and reality are opposite to each other. <laughs>